designers in the room? Yeah, okay. Are there any engineers? Any marketeers? Any finance people? I'll leave your card over there. Um, anyone working for the public sector? Oh, God, I'm off. All right. I spent all my life working for companies trying to create competitive advantage. Uh, and my focus has been about creating uh, that point of difference that makes a product sing and, and beat its rivals. So uh, I want to illustrate what I mean of competitive advantage by talking about Michael D. Higgins. Uh, Michael won the, the, the election because... <laughs> Uh, right, so, uh, okay, with Sean, oh uh, crap, hold on, uh, Michael D had nothing uh, hidden in his closet that could have embarrassed him. The same couldn't be said for some of the other uh, candidates on the ballot uh, last week. Uh, and some of them actually not having anything uh, in their closet actually meant nothing, no difference at all. So you've got to see that not having in your skeletons in your cause it turned out to be very important in this election and uh, was the key differentiator that got Michael uh, elected, right? So all businesses want to be differentiated from their competitors and designers are really, really good at doing this. Uh, so, <laughs> all right. So designers are very bad at communicating uh, the value that we deliver, and uh, we often leave it to other functions like marketing and operations to, to champion our case. Um, now, most companies operate in a process swamp or, or bog in this case, and they try to do the best with the resources they have. And we only have a fixed amount of resources, and we can only do so much. So, marketing operations and even finance have uh, fancy frameworks that make sense of the swamp, uh, the frameworks unite all the functions and provide direction and get everyone pulling towards the same goal. Uh, all frameworks have one thing in common. Uh, you can understand them. They, they might take a bit of getting used to, um, but they, they do frame the problem. And like, We've got things like the marketing mix and Six Sigma and ISIL, and all operations and engineering and marketing guys will tell you how great they are, and all include design. So, that's what pisses me off a little bit, because that's my chocolate. Uh, and m marketing and operations and engineering and even the finance guys in HR are all really good at bigging up what they do. And design ends up like a, a chocolate that's offered at the end. But we need a simple framework to point out the shortfalls of our company's design strategies and point out the bits that need work, where we can compete, uh, and where we should focus our effort. And have any of you ever heard of the design mix? Anyone? Okay, so it's really simple. It's products, spaces, and communications. And you can't have a design strategy without looking at all these elements of the design mix. Well, you can, but it just won't be very good. So I've broken it down even further. Uh, so we, we've split spaces into physical spaces and virtual spaces to reflect the interactive, interactive connected world, world we all live in. And and I've broken it even down to make it even much more confusing uh, because frameworks have to be a little complicated because uh, that's how you earn the big money. And uh, <laughs> so you can see all, all the design silos that we all operate in. And if you want design to de deliver competitive advantage, you have to work across the silos. Uh, okay, now for my opportunity to plug my company. Uh, Pick Turk, plain and simple. <laughs> is a platform for running photography competitions. And all these photos were captured using PicTurk, and some of them are actually quite good. Some of them are rotten, but some of them are good. Uh, so did you know that photography happens to be the eighth most popular hobby in the US? And this is what, our, what we think our market looks like. Well, we, it's not really a market. It's more of an ecosystem. And all these are big clusters. And we intend to harness all those clusters and strap them together and uh, make money. But this is the most important slide. We've realized that one of the things that we have to do as a company is get really good at gamification. So that's something, game design is a, something that we're really rubbish at. And we're actually gotten much better at it. And this is the competition. So if you want to enter, oh, it's missing the URL. Did you take the <laughs> URL off? OK. Uh, it's innovationdublin.picturk.com. Uh, so thanks very much. And please enter the competition. Um.